Okay, the next procedure I'm going to teach you is how to use the Lee factory crimp die. This comes as a set with almost all of their rifle um, die sets except for the pace setter set. Well, what you do is you go ahead and start your die in. And the reason why I'm showing you this, there's a way of doing it right and there's a way of applying too much crimp. Okay. We have a bullet. And the only time you're going to crimp a bullet is if it has a cantilever on it. And the cantilever is a little groove that they impress in the side of the bullet. I'm going to take a factory full metal jacket. It has a slight crimp on it. And I'm going to run it up in my die. I'm going to run this down until it stops. I'm going to add a little more to it. And that should be good. You only need just a little tiny bit of a crimp. You don't want too much. If you work it too much, you're going to ruin your brass. Okay, I think I've got it set. And you're not going to know you have it set right until you run your first bullet through there. Sometimes you might want to take one or two bullets and have them um, in an unprimed, uncharged, fully length, resized case. And the reason why is if you ruin it, you don't have to worry about trying to pull it out of there. Okay, here's one that has not been crimped. Although it has been seated, it's charged, it's ready to go. It shouldn't take much to do it. You shouldn't be trying to push so hard on this thing that you feel like you're resizing the bullet. Now that's perfect. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like from the top of the die. Because you can actually see through this die. And when you see how the process goes, you will understand better. Okay, we had already crimped the bullet, but I'm going to run it back up and show you what it looks like from the top of the die. You're going to see the four petals on there on the crimp collet. They shouldn't be squeezed together to where you see no daylight through them. They should barely move. There it is.